Hey there. So in the last video, I talked about a specific exercise that can help you make your waist size smaller. And this is a fun one because it can actually help you make your waist size smaller without you actually losing body fat. So it can like drop inches if you practice this on the regular. So when I say regularly, you're probably looking at three times a week minimum. You could do this every day. So I'm going to show you the exercise in a second. It's really simple. But if you look at the abdominal muscles, so if we were able to strip away the skin and the fat over the top of the abdominal muscles, most of them run up and down or they come in at the side at an angle. Now your deepest abdominal muscle, it's called the transverse abdominus. So that's the one that's on the, the farthest inside and that one actually attaches from your spine and it comes around and attaches in the front. So it come, it's almost like a girdle. So if you're able to work that muscle, which crunches and those types of things, don't work that muscle. If you're able to work that muscle, that's going to help you tighten or cinch in your waist. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You can, um, and, and the reason I'm doing this in front of a mirror is because if you're going to practice this, practice it in front of a mirror. It'll help you figure out like, okay, am I doing this correctly? Because a lot of times people are like, okay, I just have to suck in my stomach and hold my breath, but you don't hold your breath. It's really just a movement where you're drawing your belly button back towards your spine. So, but you don't hold your breath when you do this. So it's really helpful to have a mirror. Um, you can also do this on all fours. Sometimes I will have people practice this on their hands and knees so that you can kind of feel when you relax your belly, you'll get the belly drop. And then when you draw your belly button towards your spine, you can kind of feel that motion almost where your spine becomes more flat. So I'm going to turn to the side here. And then, so here, like you can see, like I'm a little bit more relaxed, okay? Belly's coming out just a little bit. And now I'm gonna do what's called the vacuum exercise. So I'm gonna suck my belly button towards my spine and almost even a little bit up, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm gonna stand up nice and tall, okay? Not holding the breath. I'm holding my belly button in. I'm gonna do that for 20 to 30 seconds. You should be able to feel that. You can even kind of tilt your hips a little bit forward, so that might help with that motion. And then just kind of relax, release. And then again, suck it in. So for those of you if you see stuff on Instagram where, you know, somebody's like really posed and like, wow, how do they get that really super cinched waist? Keep in mind, like most of us, when we take those photos, like even I do it when I take a photo for Instagram, I'm really kind of like posing my body the right way and I'm cinching my waist up. So it's like makes everything look super cinched. But when I'm relaxed, it's more like, okay, I got a little bit of a, a you know, a little bit of a belly pooch there. But but I do, I practice these movements and because it helps you brace your core, it helps you work that deep abdominal muscle to draw your belly button back towards your spine. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about training, please do feel free to drop a, uh, a comment down in the comment section or you can email me at kellybailey1980 at gmail.com. Have a great day.